Day 987, it's midnight. <sighs> Getting ready to go to sleep. I had a long, amazing day. Um, yeah, got back from Whole Foods, did a coaching call with one of my new clients, and it was going to be about purpose. It was about delivering him from worshiping money. Crazy, 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 amazing call. I just got delivered from worshiping money over these last two weeks and now God's already using me to do it with other people and he's got like millions of dollars invested in different things and all this stuff is going on and we just had such an amazing conversation and it was so crazy because in our discipleship group tonight <laughs> he's like coaching other people using the things that I said and and the verses I gave him and it was just so incredible like to to see his transformation in him taking what he learned in our call and teaching it to other people was just amazing. My mom was doing the same thing in her group. Um, it was just incredible. And so that was an amazing call. And I just poured out my heart and soul and it was, it was awesome. And then uh, put together this amazing presentation on how to fight the enemy um, and spiritual warfare. And then I uh, jumped on my call. So my group call, my Warriors of God group call on Thursdays, is from six to seven. And then our discipleship program is like seven to nine at church. And I lead one of the groups. And uh, I ended up doing our Warriors of God call for two hours. So I completely missed um, the whole thing at church. And I was just going. I felt so on fire, so excited. Like the things I was teaching, I could see their minds just being blown, their minds being opened, the transformation happened, like, it was just crazy, and they're all giving these testimonies of how they're applying the things that they're learning, and I'm just like, wow, God is really, really doing something in this group, and it was incredible, but, not but, it was incredible, and um, I uh, finished the call, and then I go to my door, and my campus pastor's there, he's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm so sorry because my group was waiting for me and, and it really put my campus pastor in a bad position because one of the other leaders didn't show up. <clears throat> and he's like, hey, you know, I had some new people. I'm going to have you join Chris's group. He's awesome. And, you know, your people are just sitting there waiting for you and I can't get a hold of you. And it was just a total uh, mess up on my part. Like, I should have said something. I was just in the flow. I was just on fire in our in our Warriors of God call. And it was just like, I was just in it, but I should have communicated and yeah, I just should have handled it differently. And so that was like, like really humbling. That was a good thing for me to just experience that. And also I just uh, realized that I still have some resentment like towards church after the conversation I had with the associate pastor. And uh, it was just like, yeah, there's kind of like a screw you guys kind of attitude now. Um, and that is not okay. That is, I got to bring that to God and ask God to check my heart and and get this cleared up because it's just, uh, it's Satan working. And I know the defense is the bait of Satan. So he wants me offended. Um, so I do stuff like that, like just no show and don't tell him. Like that's just horrible. That's horrible. Um, and then the people in my group, you know, it affects them. And it was just like, man, okay, I gotta, I gotta get this figured out. So it was a really good learning experience. And, and in the Warriors of God call, it was just, I've never been that like passionate, excited on fire, empowering. It was just, it was amazing. I could just see chains being broken. I could see their, their minds just like opening and yeah, it was just so it was just amazing. So I can't wait for more of that. <sighs> so I got to wake up, up in five and a half hours and teach a Bible study. So I need to go to sleep.